Classy Crafting and Parcels. Today you see here I have the succulents and the, the little white rocks and the uh, little uh, plastic container that I hauled yesterday at the Dollar Tree. I have removed, I will be showing you how to make the little succulent display. I have removed all the tags and I have a little pair of wire cutters. It's, part, it's from my beading set, but um, these will come in handy because you'll want to cut these down a little bit to get the right length. Otherwise, they'll be sticking out way too high. Um, as you see, I started off with a base of soil. You can find some soil right now um, at most hardware stores, or you can even grab a bag at the Dollarama. I know that I've purchased soil in the past at Dollarama. And I don't think I paid more than $1.50 for a small bag. You only need a little bit. Or you can find some maybe in one of your pots at home or outside that you can steal some soil from. So I um, I thought the base would be pretty with the black soil to make it look a little more realistic. And then uh, I'll put the top layer of white rocks. So what I will do is put the rocks first as I think it will be easier to guide the succulents around once the rocks are in the little bowl. Uh oh, I lifted some dirt up. Okay, Let's move that around, get it out. And what I'll do is I'll probably like line them around as we're out. I'd like some higher ones in the back so there's a little more dimension in the pot. And from there then I will start to trim down this one definitely is going to go nice and low so I'll grab this wire cutter and take that away right now there's no sense in it Ooh. So there's that one there. we'll go I think that one will go nice and low as well. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? If you take the stem off, you might even be surprised to find that it has a small little nub. So there you go. You might not even have to do any wire cutting. Let's take a look. Oh, this one is nice and tight, I think. Oh, no, you'll have to cut that one. But at least it makes it easier for cutting and you might even just be able to use a pair of good scissors. So there's that. I mean, this isn't very difficult at all. You're just finding where you think you want your arrangement. Got to fill around a little bit with it. So I'm going to put that one in the back because it's nice and tall. And then I'm not sure if I should put that one nice and low. Maybe up front. I like that that's there. Yeah, not bad. Maybe I'll put it up front. Oh, that one's easy. And so you just push them in nice and so that they'll be nice and sturdy. The soil actually helps hold the plants up. And then Actually, look, this one came apart, so you can kind of rearrange it to your liking. Oh, I think it's adorable. It's going to look so cute with the little... I brought that over. See the white and the little white pebbles? I'll just make it really spa-like, very fresh and inviting. And I'm super happy with how this turned out for about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, less than $10, and you have such a cute little display. I'm going to take some pictures next to the sink and show you what it looks like. But thanks so much for watching and I look forward to sharing some more DIYs with you all. Thank you again for joining me on this journey and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.